on the login on the startup screen you will see this drop down menu for different languages so if you choose if you want to choose another language you can just choose it right away for example if i want to choose japanese you see now it's all in japanese and uh, this is spanish portuguese and vietnamese besides english so that's um let's just um go and open a new sample presentation let's click open uh, let's go to the folder shared to me there's a folder uh, shared uh, called public and right now we'll just go to the folder called presentations and we will open uh, a, f uh, a presentation called cool features uh, you see i can just double click on it or i can click on the file and uh, select uh, uh, open uh, but double click is kind of faster for me Okay, you will also see there's a language button here. You can choose language again at any time if you want to. Okay, let's now, now go to uh, presentation mode. And the presentation is called uh, as present some cool features. So let's just check what kind of cool features are here. Well, first, it's just an overview of as present in general, the top five reasons to use it is first it's a browser application it does not require any installation second it's cool flash animations of course you know flash uh, third it's cross-platform so it will work on mac windows linux and soon it will work on solaris maybe it already does uh, and it's free and once you create a presentation you can send it via email or you can add it to your website or you can add it to your blog or you can add it to your forum so you can create presentations and pretty much take them anywhere. Okay, so let's just start with some cool features. First, animated tables. You can see, you can set the tables to show up. And there's different ways, the different animations for the tables. So uh, you can have these tables, they kind of are animated uh, when they show up, but they're also interactive. Uh, and I'll show it to you in a second. Uh, there's different interactions actually here. One, you can click on the cell when you talk about some number or some uh, whenever some text, you can actually click on it and get attention to that field. If you want to get attention to the whole row, just click on the first cell. You see now it highlights the whole, the circles, the whole row. And of course you can do the same thing for the column. And if you have more than one table on your slide, of course you can circle the whole table. One of the interesting things in this present is also uh, the ability to change the text at any time. So you see right now I can change the presentation and um, because then uh, I can just press Ctrl S and it will just save the presentation back uh, or it will save uh, into my folder because right now this is a read-only presentation. So I can make changes right there. You can also, uh, many people don't know this, you can actually also paste, uh, you see it just says paste from Excel and uh, any spreadsheet, if you, can, if you have a spreadsheet, you actually can select text there, just come to this table, click on the first cell over here in, the, in this mode, actually in edit mode and just control V and paste the, the, the table. So you don't have to retype the tables if you already have them in the spreadsheet somewhere, there, somewhere else. Okay, um, the next one is creative bullets. Uh, you see this bullet list is animated. Actually, you can move the mouse over. It will highlight only the item uh, that, uh, let's say, I want to talk at this time. Uh, and if you move the mouse over the bullet, actually, the bullet is also animated a little bit. You see it's kind of a glows in the dark. I, I should use the darker background, but you will see this uh, a few minutes later, what we can do about it here. So you see this animated bullets and uh, okay the next one is creative text boxes the text boxes are uh, gradient text boxes you can choose those and uh, they have a little bit shadow so kind of a nice and by the way again it's everything editable you can still edit in the presentation mode and save it later or don't save if you don't want to so you can actually take no make you can take notes right while you make a presentation and update your slides right here okay animated charts there's different types, there's bar charts uh, and pie charts. And right now it shows two years, it's probably hard to see 2003 and 2004, uh, just two years. But this way you can do, you can actually change that view to show only one chart and a table. And the table has two columns. And when you click on this button, since it actually animates those bars, you see it's animated clip parts. And of course you can add more 
uh, rows and uh, uh, or you can choose this one for example this is if you want to have different types of bars this uh, that types of charts uh, on the same slide this will be the buttons that change again there's there's the button that change the uh, the selection so the animation of course again you can uh, you can edit it at any time, of course, and then will you just you see I just change the number, and of course it immediately has an effect on on the on the chart. Okay, the next one is image library. As present comes with the different kind of images, and you see this image over here right now is animated, so you don't have to load them from the internet. There is a, a quite a few already available. And you can animate the way they show up on the slide. Okay, animated clip art. This is also something new. Uh, these clip arts, as you can see, are animations. And of course, they are done in Flash. And because the whole as present is done in Flash, it just kind of makes sense to use Flash for uh, clip arts. Um, uh, so this is very simple. It's just a little printer. This is a little bit more interesting. This is like a three-dimensional, it looks, it has this three-dimensional look. It's like a camera, but it's actually also um, a flash object. And, and uh, it has this moving lenses over here. You see the reflection moves a little bit here, but it also has a button. Actually, if you can click, actually, you can interact with this camera. You can click on it and you see the flash comes out. Okay, uh, lines and shape recognition. Uh, there's a magic pen tool in this present. You can draw a line. All of these were drawn with the same tool, just one tool, one icon on your toolbar. If you take a pen and draw slow, you can draw something like this. If you draw uh, a rectangle, triangle, pretty much you see all these shapes were done with one tool uh, because that uh, it's a magic pen. It actually has a shape recognition. So it will try to guess it will try to make it look better after you release the button. Uh, so all these are the tools. Uh, all these uh, objects are done with one uh, pen again. Uh, so it's kind of shape recognition is built in into the present. Okay, uh, the next one. This uh, is the image that comes actually from Flickr. Uh, and uh, the only difference here, they just I just put this little background. So this is the background. I just put it separately here. It's like a rectangle. You just draw it and you put it under the image. So it kind of really looks a little bit better. Um, so you can load images from Flickr and use them right into your in your presentation. Okay. Um, so the last thing that uh, I want to share today is animated backgrounds. First, did you notice the boat is moving? You see this boat over here, actually, while I was talking, it's actually uh, looks like a little yacht and it's actually sails left and right uh, during the presentation. And you can actually can s pay attention to this little thing. So it lives its own life there. And um, um, the, the animated backgrounds on this present are designed to be non-intrusive. They try not to distract the attention from the main presentation. They're just going to do the entertainment little bit kind of a smooth animations not to uh, distract the audience. Uh, but some of the backgrounds also have buttons. Like if your audience start falling asleep and uh, you don't entertain them enough, or it's like you're making the first presentation after lunch, you may choose one of these buttons. Okay, that's the button. So we see what happens. So when you click on this button, it's kind of where it would change from day to night. So right now it's a night. Um, and you see there's also new animations right now. First you don't see both anymore. So the, the, the yacht actually disappeared. But you will see some little things just happening here. There again, it's, it's not distracting. Uh, and again, you can always go back to back today if you want to. So that's kind of where this is how it works. You see now the yacht showed up again. Okay, so that's pretty much it. You can explore, you can play with, play with the different uh, presentations, all these things you can do yourself. And that would be it for now. And uh, we'll see you next time on the next presentation.